There's a couple different ways that we can hold the leash. And the first is that we wanna put that loop over our right thumb and then make a small loop and grab the excess leash with our left side. We wanna make sure that there's a J between our dog and our left hand so that it's not tight. Also, I just made sure that that collar was high and tight above the, right behind the dog's ears at the highest part of the neck. And then I'm just gonna warm up with some right about turns. Anytime she passes my left leg, I'm just gonna do a right about turn. For the sake of this first exercise, I want you to practice pinning your left hand to your left pocket. If you wanna tuck your left thumb into your left pocket, you can do that as well. Remember these 180s and these drills are not forever. They're a good way to warm up your dog and they're a good place to get started. I'm only giving her a treat when she's got four on the floor. She's excited, so she likes to jump. And she's still a seven month old puppy, so we just reward when she's got those four feet on the floor. Another way that we can hold the leash is um, to start incorporating the e-collar remote with our turn. So I'm gonna put my remote in my right hand and I'm gonna hold it exactly the same way. I'm still going to pin my left thumb to my left pocket. Uh, maybe not as perfectly in this video, but for starting, then you can still do it the way we, we started in this video. And I'm gonna tap and turn. There's something over to our left that she keeps looking at on the right side of the screen. Stage left, one of those. But we're just gonna keep, keep it up, tap and turn. You can do some 90 degree turns like we did there just a second ago. And you can just start incorporating some sits as you're going along. In this portion of the video, I wanted to demonstrate making essentially a square. So you're gonna do some 90 degree turns like we're doing here. You can put up cones if it makes it easy for you and kind of just mark all of your corners, A, B, C, and D. The goal of this part of the exercise is that I want you to be very intentional about where you're walking. Sometimes our dogs can start to herd us and walking in a straight line gets hard, but I want you to pick something, a tree, a blade of grass, or an actual cone and walk towards that thing. And every now and again, give your dog a break. Let them chase you, have some fun. Eventually, you can hold the whole leash in your left hand. You want to still be sure that that leash is coming out of your pinky. So the, the finger closest to your dog is your pinky. Your knuckles are still going to face forward. And this way you have your right hand free to hold your remote. And you're still going to do your tap and turns. Just tap and turn. I'm making her yield to my space. And the goal is just we want to move together as a team.